Hello, I'm Joshua Lacey, one of your Alchemy developer advocates, and welcome back to the channel. And today I've got an exciting tutorial in store for you. We're diving deep into the world of data engineering pipelines, and more specifically, we're exploring how to deploy the incredibly powerful Apache Airflow using the Alchemy marketplace. So whether you're a seasoned data engineer or just getting started in the world of data workflow, this tutorial will equip you with the knowledge you need to harness the full potential of Apache Airflow for your projects. So buckle up, grab your favorite beverage, and let's dive into the world of Apache Airflow. So let's get started. All right, so I'm at Apache Airflow's website. It's actually airflow.apache.org. And this is where you can go to get any information you need about Apache Airflow. Now, before I get started with the process of getting it installed, I wanted to walk through what is Apache Airflow. Now, Airflow is like the conductor of an orchestra, just to put it in simple terms, but it's for data workflows. And essentially Airflow is a way of managing all those ETL processes or what they call workflows. And if you don't know what an ETL process is, it stands for extract, transform, and load. It's a way of moving data from one application to another. And a lot of times you have to change the data or put it in a particular format so it can go into the other application easier. And so that's where the ETL process comes into place. And Airflow simplifies this by being a way to manage it. And just to explain a little more, it's an open source workflow management platform that's designed to make your life as a data engineer or a data scientist much, much easier. So let's break down what makes Apache Airflow so remarkable. And first off, it's the automation side of it. So Apache Airflow allows you to automate complex, repetitive, and often time consuming data engineering tasks. It's all about saving your time and reducing human error. Because when you take that human out of the process, you'll run into less errors while automating. Second, orchestration, which just imagine you have multiple data tasks that need to run in a specific order. And that's part of that ETL process. Like I said, it's, it's certain tasks that needs to be completed and one has to happen after another. You could be pulling data from multiple locations and combining it. So it has to be done in order. Well, Airflow lets you orchestrate these tasks effortlessly, ensuring everything flows smoothly from start to finish. And also the last thing that makes Airflow remarkable is its monitoring. And you can get real time visibility into your workflows. You can see what's running, what's completed, and quickly identify any issues that need your attention. Now, I also want to point out one of the coolest features of Apache Airflow, which is that it operates with code. And so instead of manually configuring your workflow through a graphical interface, you define them using Python scripts, which I thought was super cool. And I really wanted to point that out to you guys. And so this means you can version control your workflows and collaborate with team members and easily debug any issue that arises. Plus, if you're already comfortable with Python, you'll feel right at home. All right. So now that we have a solid understanding of what Apache Airflow is, let's dive right into deploying it. Now, first off, you'll need to log into your Alchemy slash Linode cloud manager. If you don't have a Linode account, you can sign up for one. Don't worry about it. It's quick and straightforward. So let's go down and log in. And once you're in, simply navigate to the marketplace right here on the left hand side. You'll see it. All you have to do is hit marketplace. And just like that, you're in the marketplace where you'll discover a whole bunch of applications waiting for you to explore. And the one we're looking for is Apache Airflow. So let's go down and type that in. All we have to do is type Airflow. It'll actually come up. You'll see it. All you have to do is select it. And then down at the bottom, once you select it down at the bottom, it'll bring up all the information you need to put in here in order to create this compute instance. And so starting out there, it is asking for an email address. So you can put whatever email address you want to use for Airflow. I'll just use my keep it techie at gmail.com. And then there is some advanced options where that'll close those advanced options. But right here, you can set up a limited pseudo user account, and this will be created for 
this server specifically. So it's just a user account with pseudo privileges. So it's super cool that they add these features in here when setting it up because it'll go through, run the scripts in the background, set all this up on the instance that you create. So I'm gonna create one called Josh, and then you wanna give it a password. Just make sure it's pretty good so you don't have to worry about someone gaining access to this server. And another cool feature, you can add SSH public keys. You know, you can put your keys on here and you can also disable root access over SSH, which I won't do at this time because I'll just get rid of this compute instance after this demonstration. Now, a couple more options I wanted to point out to you guys, at least Linode API token, so you could generate or create a token. And this is needed to create your Linode DNS record. That's if you need it. I'm not going to use that. No need for it for what we're doing today. And then also the subdomain for the DNS record, which we don't need, and as well as a domain if we need it for, you know, it requires an API token. But the next thing we want to select is our image. And the only option currently for Apache Airflow is Ubuntu 20.04. And if you click this little down arrow, it'll give you the options. If they do have other images you can run this image on, then it will be listed here. And so the next step is selecting our region. So you wanna select the region closest to you. We're going to select California cause that's the closest to me. I'm on the West coast. So select what's closest to you. That way you can get the best speeds and all that stuff. Now the next step, the plan, you wanna select your plan. And what I'll do is a small plan starting off because I don't need a big system. I'll just use the Nanode one gigabyte. So we can select that. And you can look under here and see what applies to you, what you need as far as the CPU, the storage, as well as the RAM, and then the transfer. And they also have other options like high memory, GPU, premium dedicated CPU if you need it. Like I said, I'll just use the shared CPU because that's all I need for this demonstration at the moment. And down here, you can select your Linode label and it automatically creates one for you. It put Apache Airflow, which is the application we're installing on the server. And I also separated it by the location and put US West. It will change that label based on a location. Now you can also go in here and edit this if you need to, which I don't think you need to. It's good the way they put it in here. That That's a great way of organizing your compute engines. And then you can also add tags if you need to. You can create a tag or you could choose one that you've already created. And then let's go down and set up a root password right fast. And lastly, that's it. You can add SSH keys if you need. They also have more options in here, which are not needed for what my purpose, but VLANs, backups, and private IPs if you need it. And so let's go down and create our Linode. So all we had to do is hit the button that says create Linode right here behind my face. And boom, it'll go down and start provisioning our server. And when you select this application, it does take a little time. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to install the operating system and configure it and get the uh, Apache Airflow installed and configured properly so you can log into it. And so I'll be back when this finishes. All right, so after waiting for about 10 to 15 minutes, our server is up and running and it should be fully configured with Apache Airflow. And so the first thing you wanna do is log into the server in order to get the credentials because what it does when it creates Apache Airflow, it generates the admin account for the server in order for you to log into it. So you have to SSH into the server or you can use the Lish console. You can log in that way but I'll just use SSH just to show you guys a different screen right fast. But all you gotta do is go to your terminal, use that pseudo account that you created during the process. And we could just type SSH and then Josh, which is that account. So if it's different, you know what I'm saying? Then you type yours in and then the IP address and that'll get us into this server. So all we have to do is type yes for the fingerprint it or add the fingerprint as a known host to your local system, press enter and then it'll ask you for that login password. So this is the exact same password that you use to create it when we set up the server. So let's type that in right fast and log in. 
and boom. And if you let it sit for the right amount of time, 10 to 15 minutes or so, it'll automatically pull up the information for your login. As you can see, this is the domain you use to log in. So that it, we need to copy that as well as our credentials, which is admin. And then here is the password for you. And like I said, this server will be gone. So I'm not worried about you guys seeing it, but it will display just like this when you log in. And just to show you how to get that information, if you need to get to it again at any point, uh, there is a file that's generated under your ETC directory with these same credentials in it. So let's go ahead and do that now by just typing cats. And I forgot we have to type sudo so we can actually see the file because that file is owned by root. And so if you logged in as root, don't worry about typing sudo. You could just type cats. But since I'm logged into the sudo account, I have to use sudo in order to cat out this file because this stuff is owned by roots and you can't see it unless you run sudo. So it's etc and then forward slash motd and press enter. And we type in our sudo password right fast. Boom. And it'll cat out that information or concatenate that information onto the screen so you can get to it. Now let's go down and copy our domain for our Apache Airflow. So let's go down and hit copy and let's switch back over to our browser and let's paste that in here. And as you can see, it'll bring up our Airflow install. And let's go down and switch back to the terminal. And all I need to do is grab the password and then let's go back over to our site, type admin, and then paste our password in there, press sign in, boom. And now we are logged into Apache Airflow. Now at the heart of Apache Airflow is the concept of a directed Aculite graph or a DAG. This DAG represents your workflow as a series of interconnected tasks with each task defined by Python code. So think of it as a flow chart for your data processing, which is what you'll see. Soon as you log into it, you'll see a whole bunch of DAGs. And most of these are examples in order for you to learn how to manage your data flows in Airflow. And we can click on one just to look at it right fast so you guys can see the process. But if you go in here under graphs, you can see the process. And this is just a simple one. Let's actually go back to another one right fast that has a little bit more details in it. There we go. So this is a little bit more complex, but as you can see, you got your graph and it just breaks down everything of what will happen during the process. And then we got the calendar and sorry, I skipped the grid mode, but this kind of breaks down everything in the grid mode, uh, the calendar, and then the task duration. And this is all based on history. Uh, since these have never ran, they don't have any history then task tries so if it runs into failures like how many times it tries and then the landing time which is essentially how long the full process takes and then other details are in here as well as the code so you can check out the code for what actually happens and like i said you can create your workflows using python and these are a lot of great examples in order for you to learn how to use Airflow and write your own DAGs. And one other cool thing I want to point out is the audit log. So it'll audit every time a DAG is ran. And then also just to show you guys a little bit more, I don't want to go too deep into this, but you got your data sets, you got your security. So you can modify security. You can list the users on the server, create the users, list roles user statistics you can check out actions resources permissions you can check out jobs audit logs task instances triggers dag dependencies all that good stuff and then under admin you got your variables configurations connections plugins they do have plugins for apache airflow so definitely check that out providers pools xcoms and then also the documentation this is one of the most important ports of the application in my opinion you always want to see documentation that way you can go and figure out whatever problems you run into and so i recommend you go there in order to fully get an understanding of how to use apache airflow especially if you're new and there we have it we've successfully deployed apache airflow through the linode marketplace and so congratulations on taking this significant step towards automating and managing your data workflows now, remember this tutorial is just the beginning of your Apache Airflow journey. 
and the Linode marketplace has made it incredibly easy to get started. But there's so much more to explore and learn. I encourage you to experiment with Apache Airflow, create your own workflows and discover its full potential. And if you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for joining me in this tutorial. And if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more tutorials, tips, and tech insights. Peace.